Hello everyone, welcome to this session of quadratic equation. And in this session, we'll learn some basic concepts and we'll see how to solve the quadratic equation. So for that, let's consider a rectangular garden with the area 72 square meter. Square meter is the way how we measure the area when its dimensions are in terms of meters. And its dimensions are length L and breadth B. And the only information about length and breadth we have is length is 1 meter more than the breadth. So that means if we say breadth is x meters then length will be x plus 1 meters. And since the garden is in the shape of rectangle, area of garden will be same as the area of rectangle that is length into breadth that is equals to x plus 1 which is length of the garden and breadth is x and area of garden as we know it is 72 square meters. So on calculating and rearranging we will get this as x square plus x minus 72 equals to 0. So we got some equation. And looking at this equation, we can say three things. Number one, we got this equation when we took product of two things of same parameter. That means when we multiplied length and breadth, they both are distances and they both are measured in meters. When we took product, that is multiplied them, we got this equation. Number two, this equation is single variable equation. That means if you see this equation, we have only one variable everywhere that is x and number three maximum power of the variable is two and when we see these three things in any equation that equation can be called as quadratic equation for instance let's take one more example to understand the quadratic equation say there are two brothers one is younger and other is elder one and let's say we know two things about their ages that product of the ages of younger brother and the elder brother is 12 and the second information is age of the elder brother is two years more than the twice the age of the younger brother that means if I take age of younger brother as t years then age of elder brother will be 2 plus 2 into age of younger brother that is t and according to this condition product of their ages that is younger one is t and elder one is 2 plus 2t will be 12. So on calculating and rearranging them, we will get 2t square plus 2t minus 12 equal to 0. So in this equation, we can see that we got this equation when we took product of two things of same parameter. That is, we took the product of the ages of the two brothers and both of their ages are in terms of years. Second is equation of single variable. We can see that we are having equation of single variable that is t. And point number three is maximum power of the variable is 2. So here again we can see that we are having the maximum power of t as 2. This equation is satisfying all the three important points. Therefore, even this equation is called as quadratic equation. So now we know what is quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is generally written as ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and here we need to understand that any quadratic equation can be written in this form like if we say in this case in place of x we are having t in the equation but both are variables so that's fine so in place of x square we are having t square similarly in second term in place of x we are having t and here in place of a we are having 2 in the equation so our a is 2 in place of b we are having 2 so b is 2 in place of c we are having minus 12 so we can see that this equation can be written in general form similarly for this equation uh, x square is already there x is already there here you must know that one is always there when you can't see any number so a is one similarly here also there will be one so b is again one and c is minus 72 so again this equation is written in general form so now we understood that any quadratic equation can be written in this general form and there is one more condition with this general form is that a cannot be 0 that means 
if a is 0 this whole term becomes 0 and what remains is bx plus c equals to 0 then this equation cannot be called as quadratic because the third point that is maximum power of variable is 2 is not satisfied since we are having power 1 over here rather this equation called as linear equation so now we know basic concepts of quadratic equation now let's learn how to solve the quadratic equation why there is need of solving the quadratic equation because when we solve quadratic equation we get the value of the variable like if we solve this quadratic equation we get the value of x which helps us in finding the length and breadth of the garden and if we solve this quadratic equation we get the value of variable t which helps us in finding the age of the brothers but the question is how to solve this quadratic equation let's see for solving quadratic equation we have two methods number one factorization method number two completing square method but in this session we will see how to solve the quadratic equation by factorization method and we will learn completing square method in next session so let's take any one quadratic equation from the above examples uh, let's take quadratic equation related to the area of the garden the equation was x square plus x minus 72 equal to 0 according to this method we have to convert this left hand side into two factors now the question is why two factors because it is quadratic equation if it was cubic equation we would require three factors now the question is how to find those two factors here is the method first of all multiply the first term and the third term we get 72 x square with negative sign and we need to find two factors from this such a way that when we add them we should get the middle term that is x now you must be wondering what are the factors are all about let me tell you when we express any number in terms of product of the numbers then those numbers are called as factors like for example if 8 is there I can write it as 2 into 2 into 2 then 2 is factor of 8 similarly I can write this 8 as product of two numbers like 4 into 2 so 4 and 2 are also called as factors I hope you understood what the factors are now we are looking for two factors of minus 72 x square so minus 72 x square can be written as product of minus 72 x and x or minus x into 72 x or 8 x into minus 9 x or minus 8 x 9 x you may go on finding the factors this way but the condition is on adding them we should get the middle term that is x so let's see where we are getting x so here we are getting minus 71 x here we are getting 71 x similarly here we are getting minus x and here we are getting x and so on so here is the x as we wanted so we will consider these two terms so we can write this equation as x square and in place of x we will write minus 8x plus 9x as we got over here minus 72 equals to 0 so let's start with the first two terms let's see what is common in between them x is common so let's take x common we'll get x minus 8 similarly in these two terms we can see that 9 is common so we'll take 9 as common so we'll get again x minus 8 equals to 0 so from these two terms x minus 8 is common so let's take it out what is remaining is x plus 9 equals to 0 so now we can see that it is expressed as product of two numbers that is they are expressed in terms of factors that's why it is called as factorization method now how to find the value of x here we can see that product of these two terms is equal to 0 that means either first term is 0 or the second term is 0 so from this we get x equals to 8 and from this we get x equals to minus 9 if you remember 
X is breadth of the rectangular garden. That means it is a length and length cannot be negative. Therefore, value of X is 8. So therefore, breadth B is X meters that means 8 meters and length was X plus 1 that is 8 plus 1 9 meters. We can recheck the answer. As you know the area of rectangle is length into breadth. So we have length as 9 and breadth is 8. So therefore 9 into 8 is 72 which is exact area of the garden. Similarly you can solve for the ages of the two brothers. You should get the value of t as minus 3 or t equals to 2. Since h cannot be negative we neglect minus 3. So we take value of t as 2. So therefore age of the younger brother is t years that is 2 years and age of the elder brother is 2 plus 2 into 2 that is 6 years. So in this session we have learnt If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.